Diddy's Lar, Agnifilo claims Diddy is innocent and also stated that Diddy is a fighter and not afraid of charges, following the denial of his bail. In 2024, the music industry has been profoundly shaken. The media and audiences are polarized, with critics denying, dismissing, and expressing outrage. As more details surfaced, those who once brushed off the allegations started to feel a sense of shock and unease. The highly influential and captivating Sean Diddy Combs, a world-renowned rapper also known as Puffy, has been arrested on serious charges related to violence and sexual trafficking. Sex trafficking refers to the buying and selling of individuals, both men and women, for money or other forms of exploitation. Even without financial exchange, it can involve seeking other benefits. This crime also encompasses coercing individuals into sexual acts against their will, making it a grave offense. Born in 1969 in New York City, Diddy has had a passion for music since childhood, growing up immersed in the rhythms of hip-hop. More than just an artist, he has become a significant brand within the music industry. Diddy played a pivotal role in introducing iconic hip-hop figures such as the notorious B.I.G., Faith Evans, and Maze, with Biggie's album, Ready to Die, being a groundbreaking work. His influence extends beyond music to include innovation in fashion, production techniques, and marketing strategies. Academically, he also made his mark, earning a degree from Howard University. When serious allegations surface against a prominent figure, fans often feel a sense of betrayal. Diddy's ex-girlfriend, singer Cassie Ventura, filed accusations of assault and abuse against him in November 2023. At the time they met, Cassie was 19 and Diddy was 37. Now in 2024, they are 37 and 54, respectively, highlighting their 18-year age difference. Cassie alleges that Diddy physically assaulted her and engaged in non-consensual act throughout their 11-year relationship, beginning around 2007. Cassie also claims that Diddy coerced her into hiding firearms and drugs in her purse. Allegedly, he hired someone to enact sexual scenarios with her and pressured her to use drugs. After discovering messages between Cassie and American rapper Kid Cudi, Diddy warned Kid Cudi, I'll blow up your car. Not long after, that car was indeed set on fire, though Kid Cudi escaped unharmed. Diddy responded by accusing Cassie of attempting to extort him for $30 million, denying her allegations and suggesting they were part of a larger scheme. The details surrounding the situation remain unclear, but things have calmed down since then. A few days later, a 32-year-old woman named Joy Dickerson Neal filed a lawsuit against Diddy for sexual assault. Diddy denied the allegations, claiming he never assaulted her and suggesting that it was an attempt to extort money from him, arguing that the evidence was inadequate for a lawsuit. In November 2023, a woman identified as Jane Doe also filed a lawsuit, alleging that over 30 years ago, Diddy and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall assaulted her and her friend in New York City. In early December 2023, another allegation of sexual assault emerged against Diddy. He responded by asserting that it was an attempt at extortion. By February 2024, producer Rod Lil Rod, Jones alleged that Diddy sought out underage girls and coerced him into sexual act, prompting Jones to file a lawsuit. In March 2024, the FBI, along with agents from Los Angeles and Miami, conducted a search of Diddy's home to collect evidence. During the investigation, various items were discovered, though specific details remain undisclosed. Inside Diddy's home, there are more than a thousand bottles of baby oil. What secrets do these bottles hold? The mystery surrounding the 1,000 bottles of baby oil continues to unravel. In May 2024, CNN unveiled CCTV footage from 2016 that depicted Diddy assaulting his ex-girlfriend Cassie. On September 16, 2024, Diddy was arrested in New York City on charges including coercion, harassment, arson, bribery, and human trafficking. Later that month, a woman named Dawn Richard came forward, accusing Diddy of sexual assault, physical violence, and threatening her life while holding her captive in a locked car. In September 2024, yet another allegation surfaced. A member of Donity Kane accused Diddy of sexual misconduct, physical violence, and making threats, filing a total of 12 charges against him. She claims to have endured these experiences for the past decade. Meanwhile, fans of Justin Bieber, who has been influenced by Diddy throughout his career, are voicing concerns about his safety. Diddy is known for hosting extravagant parties, and reports indicate that Justin Bieber was frequently invited to these events during his younger years. Diddy and Jay-Z, Sean Carter, are two of the most influential figures in the music industry. It's fair to say they are competitors, as both have expanded their ventures beyond music into areas like fashion, alcohol, and media. 
For years, they've been spotted together at various events within the music scene, leading some to speculate whether Jay-Z is aware of the ongoing issues surrounding Diddy. Freddie P., Fonsworth Bentley, is known as Diddy's former friend, assistant, and employee, recognized for his distinctive style. While he no longer works with Diddy, many believe he may have insight into the inner workings from their time together. Currently, Diddy, the world-renowned billionaire and rap mogul, is facing serious allegations. Numerous former employees have come forward to testify about his criminal activities. Victims of sex trafficking and abuse are also stepping up as witnesses. Authorities are set to validate the evidence collected from his home. The pursuit of justice and truth will be closely observed, with Diddy's next court hearing scheduled for October 9. Despite the clear evidence against him, Diddy's lawyer continues to assert his innocence. What are your thoughts? Do you believe Diddy is innocent? Please like, subscribe, and share for more updates.